Hey guys, welcome back to another video. This is Gabe with Indigo Software, genuine Microsoft software for less. So in today's video, we're gonna show you how to upgrade your computer to Windows 11, even if your processor is not officially supported. Windows 11 requires that you have an eighth generation Intel processor or higher, and you also need TPM 2.0. Now, if you don't meet these requirements, you don't just have to go buy a new computer. There's actually an official Microsoft bypass that you can utilize to run Windows 11 on an unsupported processor. Now, there are several reasons or scenarios why you may or may not want to do this, but as a general rule of thumb, if you have a computer that is your primary work computer and it's very important, it's not recommended to upgrade to Windows 11, but just to stay on Windows 10. But if you wanna run Windows 11 and you're willing to assume a little bit of risk, we can make some simple edits to make that happen. Now, before we get into that, if you guys are interested in your own copy of Windows 11, if you don't already have one, check out those links in the description box below as we offer Windows 11, 10, and a host of other Microsoft softwares at a great price. So without further ado, let's begin today's video. All right, so for the purpose of demonstration, um, we're running Windows on the Mac. It's gonna be the exact same process on a regular PC computer. It's just a little bit easier for me to record this way. So we'll start by launching our Windows. All right, so I'm here on my Windows desktop. The first thing we're gonna do is download our Windows 11 file. It typically takes a while, so we're gonna just get that out of the way right off the bat. So I'll go to Edge, and we're gonna navigate to the site aka.ms slash download Windows 11. Now, once we're here, we're looking for the image file download. So if we click this drop down menu right here and select Windows 11, disk image ISO, and we'll go ahead and press download on that. And then you have to press choose language. And here is the 64 bit download button. So we're gonna press this and get it downloading to our desktop. Okay, so while that's downloading, we're gonna move on to the next step. We're gonna type in our search bar, reg edit. That's gonna pull up the registry editor. Okay, we're gonna to wanna to click into this and then we'll press yes on the pop-up. All right, so once we're in the registry editor, we need to go to a very specific folder. We'll have the name of that folder in the description box below, so you can just go and copy the whole thing and paste it in. So once you have that copied, select computer, and we'll paste the entire thing. We'll press enter. Now, in some cases, you may already have the value set within this directory. You're looking for this little guy right here, allow upgrades with unsupported TPM or CPU. Now, let's assume that you don't have this. I'm gonna go ahead and delete it for demonstration purposes. So to make this value ourselves, we're gonna right click and we're gonna press new. And then we're gonna select DWORD 32-bit value. Now the name of this value is very important. Again, we'll put this in the description for you guys to copy. It's gonna be as follows. Allow upgrades with unsupported TPM or CPU. Okay, we'll press enter. Now we're gonna double click on this and where it says value data, we're gonna change this to one and press okay. Now we're finished with the registry editor so we can go ahead and close this. All right, so that's all you need to upgrade to Windows 11 on unsupported CPU or TPM. If you guys wanna see more about how to actually upgrade to Windows 11 following through the Windows setup, we've got some videos covering that and we'll leave a link to one right here. Again, if you're interested in your own copy of Windows 10, Windows 11, or other Microsoft software at a great price, check out Indigo Software. We'll have the links in the description box below. So thanks for watching, and we'll see you guys in the next video.